Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and today we're going to talk about an awesome feature that SmartSuite built to help you stay productive on the web. This is the SmartSuite Web Clipper, a Chrome extension that they built. Now, I encourage you to follow along with us. If you haven't yet signed up for SmartSuite, you can do so with our affiliate link in the description below. The first thing you can do is we can find the Chrome extension. You would probably want to use the link that we have in the description. I did have some issues trying to search for the Chrome extension itself, the SmartSuite Web Clipper. To get started, I added a bookmarks app. This is a brand new app that I created. You can call it whatever you want if web clip seems more appropriate to you. And initially when I set up the app, we have our title field created for us. I did add a link. So if you search for a link, you can add a hyperlink. I used the out of the box description field. And then I made another text area field for selected text. Those are the main four that I think you'll need as we set this up. We can connect these apps between solutions and so you can set it up however is a best fit for you. Once you've set that up, let's go ahead and install the Chrome extension. We'll give it the permissions we need and add it. It adds it to Chrome. Sometimes it kind of displays it for a second and it hides it. So if you're not super familiar with Chrome extensions, you can click the puzzle icon and click the little pin icon, which then is what's going to be able to pull it up in your display here next to the bookmarks bar. We have this available to us and we need to create a clipper, but the first thing that we need to be able to do is to get an API token. This is available if we go back into Smart Suite, you click up on your avatar at the top and click on workspace information. And from here, you can scroll down or click on the area that says API key. Now I'm going to keep mine hidden because you don't need to see my API key, but you'll be able to get your API token, be able to capture that token. If for some reason you expose it, you could destroy it and grab a new one, but go ahead and copy that. And then we can go ahead and paste this in. So press create clipper. I'm gonna call this my bookmarks. And then we can put in our API token here. And then we've got the ability to choose our target account. So I just have the single workspace and account with automation helpers. And now we can choose from the app that we want. So in this case, I created mine that I called bookmarks. You can search for the one that you created. And now you have the ability to map the relevant fields, description, page description, link, page URL, and title, page title. I love how they made that easy for us. Then selected text, I can just click on selected text. Now there is one more option, text matching a CSS selector. This is kind of like the basics of web scraping. If you're going to click on several pages and they're all structured the same way, maybe you have a Notion series of pages that you want to grab or something from Wikipedia, you might find this helpful, but it doesn't have all of the options of a web scraper. So I'm not going to use it in this particular example. We've got the main four fields that we need. We've got selected text. I'll go ahead and save this. Now we have our clipper created. You can, of course, create a new clipper if you want to have it connected to a different app. I'm going to go to my own website, Mation Helpers, and we'll click on this main page. And let's say I found some super interesting text. Oh, this statistic is really interesting to me. I can highlight that. Go ahead and click my web clipper. When we click it, it's going to show you the information that it's going to grab. That looks right. We'll go ahead and create the record. And then what I like is that they automatically link it to the actual record itself inside of Smart Suite. So we can go ahead and click on the record. It'll open up that record view, and now we can see that data. So as you're browsing the web, especially if you are on a, a desktop machine or a laptop, you've got the ability to, to peruse this and add the content as you need it. So it's just kind of a handy little feature. I like the fact that I already have a smart suite account and now I've got a way to capture this information. So I'd be curious what you think. Are you going to use this to be able to capture some kind of information? What is it that you're going to keep track of inside of smart suite? I'd love to hear the comments below.